This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. I'm Srinivas, Srinivas Guripati. So, so far we already understand what is a parameter, how it is going to work. What are the different types of parameters that we have? There are some scenarios like we may need a multiple parameters, not a single parameter with multi-value. You may need a multiple parameters. So whenever you have a multiple parameters, whenever you have a requirement, you can create the multiple data sets or multiple parameters here and you can create a report. So let's understand. So I'm adding a parameter, the name called P underscore estate. Select a state that I mentioned. And then after, I just clicking on hello values. I want to take from a query. As the query is not available here, just I'm creating here an empty parameter I'm creating. Similarly, I'm creating another parameter. I will name it as a P underscore city. So here I'm mentioning it as select a city. And then after available values mentioned and click on OK. So I'm going to create a data set. A new data set I'm going to create. And what I'm going to do is I want to get I want to get only the states from the database selected distinct states from a database i will call it as state so state is a data set which is going, going to get distinct state values from my query click on ok so just a second couldn't update a list of fields and a query verify that so I want to get a state. So then after, similarly, I want to add another data set, which is going to get a distinct city names. This time I want to add a city. Here I just mentioned it as a distinct. A distinct city and I'm saving it. So for this parameter called state, I want to pass a value from a query called state. Whatever the value that I have a state will be considered as a field and I want to display label. Okay, so is the value is the label. Then after similarly, city, I want to add a value from a query called city. City name is a label, city name is a value. So these are the two parameters which are displaying the values from a state and a city. Now, I want to create another data set. Fact sales. I want to get the complete table based on your selection. What is the selection is where the state where the state equals to at the rate parameter underscore state. And, and city name equals to city name equals to at the rate underscore city. Then after map these two parameters, the actual parameter. Click on OK. 
Now insert a table. I want to bring from a fact sales. I want to display state and uh, city and amount of paid. So here I'm executing that report. Let me execute it. Error, error occurred during the local report processing. Just to give me a second. This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so what happened is, as part of a state, whenever we are writing a query, I made a spelling mistake at a distinct. That was the blocker. It is unable to load the data. Now I fixed that one, and you can run it, and you can verify. So it is asking for a select state and select city. So whenever you select Andhra Pradesh, it is coming from database. And whenever you select uh, Mumbai, click on view report. In Andhra Pradesh, Mumbai, we don't have any data. In Andhra Pradesh, Guntur, you will have a data. Andhra Pradesh, Vellore, if you select, you won't have any other such combination. Like whenever you select a Chennai, like Tamil Nadu, you can select, you can select a Vellore, and you can get the data. So you understand that multiple values are selected. So multiple parameters you can give as an option. User can select a year, department, month, whatever user want, user can select it. And you can pass a query and you can get the data. But here, as you are displaying all the values, here it is going to give some confusion so most of the times customer want to display the other parameter values based on the first parameter selection so that if i select a tamil nadu if i can showcase only tamil nadu cities this kind of issues will not come so that kind of behavior we used to call it as a cascading parameters. So whenever you select this value, then only these values will be loaded. So how to do that one is, so, so city name, city name is the one which is populating the data. So we can adjust this data set in such a way that where state equals to parameter underscore state. So I want to load a city names by filtering the parameter called state. Now go there and the link like pass whatever the state that you are giving here. Click on OK. Now run it. You are able to see that city was disabled because you are not loaded any data. Whenever you select Andhra Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh data was filtered. Whenever you select Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu data was loaded. Whenever you select Maharashtra, Maharashtra data was loaded. So click on OK. So whenever you click on a view report, the corresponding state and city data is got loaded. This behavior we used to call it as a cascading parameters that you just need to customize your data sets with the help of a other parameters. So this is what completely, how to add a multiple parameters and how to add a values to a parameter through a query. What is the need of a cascading parameters? and how to implement cascading parameters. 
If anyone has any questions, you can comment it as part of a comment section. Thanks much for watching this video.